Hey everybody, it's Captain Mikey and welcome back. How y'all doing today? Hope everyone's doing doing well. Today we are going to be doing another tour of another Olympic class. Uh, see who can guess as to what it is. Because it's not the Titanic. I'm going to turn around. Now, this right away should give it away. Um, if you guess the Britannic, you are correct. This is the RMS Britannic sailing simulation in Roblox. So, similar to what we did uh, with the with the Titanic, we're going to do here with the Britannic. So, everybody, please, if you enjoy my videos, please, please, press that like button, subscribe. I could use all the love that I can get. Hit that bell to keep up to date with all my videos. So, without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's begin the tour. So, once again, we are here on top of the bridge and uh, obviously they've put in a compass platform so yeah there's that that's a really nice view hey we're moving right yeah, I think we're moving. I don't know with the Titanic one if we were technically moving or not. Or if we were just stationary. Pretty cool. Alright. Got some nice lifeboats here. I can't get up there apparently. No, I can't get up there. I wanted to, I wanted to go. Does this No. I'm surprised these don't have like the like the jump. Yeah, they don't have the jump. So that kind of sucks. So yeah, you can't even you can't even climb these lifeboats. Oh, that's okay. So obviously, this is the RMS version, the version that none of us ever got to see. It's in its white star buff with uh, black top funnels. And white painted gantry davits. And obviously a white painted elevator room and uh, dome of the grand staircase. So for those of you who didn't know, but the Britannic, on the Britannic... This is actually an elevator uh, mechanical room. And the reason why it's up here um, is because on Britannic, unlike Olympic and Titanic, on Britannic, the elevators went all the way up to the boat deck. Whereas on Olympic and Titanic, they went up to the A deck. So from A deck down to E deck is how far the elevators went on both Olympic and Titanic. And the Britannic, her elevators went from the boat deck down to E deck. There was also another elevator added further down over there 
that was not on the Titanic or the Olympic. Let's see. Can I climb the funnels? No. Darn. So, right here we are on the port side. Yeah, port side. Starboard side. Oh, yeah. Right? So, okay. Oh, well. Here we are at the compass tower in the middle of the ship. There's quite a lot of detail in this one, in this experience. I don't know as to how much the creator... Uh, put in here. Oh, nice. You can see down below. Uh, this is another added feature that the Britannic had over the her other two sisters is that they had skylights on on this deck right here. I don't know if uh, yeah I can't remember I can't remember if these skylights were put in technically for her wartime uh, for her wartime uh, configuration couldn't think of the word there <laughs> Or if this was intended to be part of the RMS version. Because I know in our wartime, the windows right here were not, were not, uh, whatchamacallit, they were not put in. So, I don't know. It, it, it I'm going to, if I, if I guess, I'm just going to go with, that these little skylights over the first class lounge was definitely intended for more light. I'll go with that. Some nice deck chairs. We're at the base of the third funnel. Uh, again, once again, this uh, stairwell goes down to uh, a deck promenade. Right in here is the elevator, uh, another elevator's uh, mechanical room. See, like on on the Titanic, this was not here. They just had like little ladders. Now they got like this little platform and stairwell, which I might add looks really nice. I really like it. The colors are they're, they're nice. Nice little wood staircase, teak decking. Now, obviously, like, guys on Titanic, uh, this would not have been, like, possible from, like, where I'm standing. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Sorry guys, I'm having a little uh issue with uh turning and all that. Now some bug that was even though I'm like turning the joystick, my my uh camera's not moving there. <laughs> Definitely some bug. Anyway, uh what was I saying? Uh you're right. Um on Titanic and Olympic this was not connected. It was two totally different oh, here we go with the camera thing again. And whoa, what's going on? Whoa. I'm not doing that guys. That's weird. Oh, I can't squeeze. Oh. Nope, couldn't squeeze through. How about this side? Yay! See, on the Titanic one, I couldn't even get up here on, in front of the third uh, smokestack. Uh, so, yeah, again, this was not originally connected on the Titanic and the, uh, Olympic. It ended basically, like, right here. Here I go, on top of the... End room casing skylight. Let's go see these boats. That's actually a pretty cool view. Uh oh. Am I stuck? No. So now I'm on top of the aft grand staircase uh, in a dome. Come on. Nope. Apparently not. Those portholes. I don't know what those are, but I don't think they were... No, they weren't there on the... Titanic. How about this one? Nope. Hey, nice view of the smokestack. The expansion joint. Britannic had four expansion joints. Can you guys believe that? Ooh, there's a stairwell. Pretty cool. Once again, though, I think the RMS version, these were the dog kennels right here at the base of the fourth funnel. I still can't climb these, huh? Well, that kind of sucks. What if there's an emergency and I can't climb a lifeboat? And it's amazing how how different the oh, excuse me as to how different the Britannic really is compared to other two sisters. Oh, can I climb? Yay! I can climb. Oh, that's cool. Nice view. And 
and these block things here, these block structures, they were for the for the lifeboat cranes. Here we got the uh, second class entrance. All right, let's head forward. I love how you can see through the windows. Still see like all the furniture. So, yes, here we have the first class gymnasium right here. And then obviously the inside of the uh, forward grand staircase. I can't remember. Was this supposed to be all clear? Somebody tell me in the comments below about the lifeboats. If uh, on the RMS version there wasn't supposed to be lifeboats like stacked here. I think they were supposed to only be stacked here in the cradles. I think. That's amazing. That's beautiful right there, guys. Look at the smoke coming out of the smokestacks. That looks pretty realistic. I like it a lot. Now, see, on a Titanic's bridge, you didn't have this, uh, this overhang, I think, yeah, no, you didn't. No, the wall went out to right here. This wall went out to right here, I believe, on Titanic. So, the wheelhouse is actually smaller on the Britannic then. See, that's, that, that's interesting. Little things like this. You know, these little changes that differ from her other sister ships. Obviously, we cannot get into the wheelhouse, which is okay. And right now, we're on the bridge. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's like I'm steering the ship. I feel like like I'm at the helm. Although I think the helmsman would be in there steering the ship. I don't know why they had one here. What was the... Someone in the comments tell me, what was the purpose if for 
for the helmsman to be steering the ship in the wheelhouse, but not here. Yeah, somebody please tell me. Let me know in the comments. Oh, by the way, guys, the uh, description for this, uh, or not description, the link for this game will be in the description below. I said it backwards. <laughs> My bad. So, yes, here's the forward expansion joint. the grand staircase again and then this is another thing that differed from the Olympic and Titanic um, here this structure was actually not there on Titanic and Olympic as a matter of fact it was just kind of like a little empty space like an alcove and on Titanic along this wall is where the band stood on the outside but now on Britannic it's on the inside and obviously they shortened up the reading and writing room because this actually extended a little bit further forward just a little bit not like a ton So, yeah, through those windows, I believe, would be the reading and writing room. And this would be the second expansion joint. And I love how they included this, uh, black, this black line here. And they also have it here as well. What it is is this uh, black line that curves around the structures is rain gutters so whenever it rains like if it were to really rain heavy this way instead of flooding you know the area the water would just kind of collect in these gutters and just go wherever and then empty out into the ocean that's pretty cool if you ask me Pretty nifty. And right here would be the third expansion joint. Like I said, there were four. So now what we're going to do is try to try to head aft a little bit. Hey, they got swings there. Can I get up? Haha. <laughs> they got swings right here. Wow, that's pretty tall. Uh, right there would be the fourth expansion joint. Alright, so let's take a little stroll around the A deck promenade. Oh, that is nice. That looks nice. And that's a pretty beautiful view, too. And here we could see through the windows.
So even the forward promenade uh, windows are are shaped differently. Uh, that's not supposed to be there. Yeah, that's not supposed to be there. Same thing on this side. That's not supposed to be there. right into the forward grand staircase don't worry guys we'll go through all those rooms goes into the second other second class staircase okay like I said folks we'll go through that so don't worry And then this side's the same thing. Can't get. Oh! Hey! Okay. These bolts will let me get up there. That's interesting. Come on. Yes. Look at that view. <laughs> Obviously, you'll notice the morgue is gone. Um, that's because she's in her RMS configuration, not during her hospital uh, configuration. So... Let's continue on. Uh, oh, okay. You can see all the way down the promenade deck. Here we are on the docking bridge. All right. Can't go in. There's no flag. B 
deck. the first class music and here's this port side Once again, the forward grand staircase, and then next we'll go down to the forward wall deck. So in case you guys don't know, I've heard people ask this question before, but these little square things those are uh, panels you put up on the windows and uh, they they help protect the windows during uh, rough seas and bad storms so they're like I don't know, storm windows or whatever I guess whatever you want to call them they're on the bridge and uh, up on a deck as well winches and on top of the cargo holds wow hey that's really cool now that is really cool I really love that that is just really cool That's always another nice view. Let me take another screenshot. Before we go in, is there any open doors here? No, there's not. Awesome. Make it through. And oh, 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 oh. No. Not going to do it. Now that's another fantastic view. These views never get old, people. Alright, enough putzing around. Let's go see some interiors. Alright, here we are. Ooh, that's really cool. This is the uh, children's uh, uh, like play area. <laughs> nursery. This is the children's nursery area. I seriously doubt those pictures were there though as nice as they are I really do seriously don't think that those were there at least those ones
Ta-da! And there is honor and glory. Crowning time. With the first class beautiful dome. And obviously, the organ. So if we go forward here, these are the uh, first class elevators that go all the way up to the boat deck that I mentioned earlier. I guess I can't get into the uh, um, the gymnasium. So, in Britannic Patroness of the Mediterranean, this is where you start out at when you go to the Grand Staircase level. Let's get a good look at Honor and Glory. Look at the cherubs and the newel posts. Nice. You know, I know like this is a Roblox, so it's not like a super high quality, you know, graphics type of game, so I understand, you know, it's not going to be perfect graphics where you're going to see, like, every blade of, of grass and whatnot, but still, the person who made this, it, it, it looks very good. I like it. Okay. Okay, let's have a look at these first class state rooms. Nice. Nice. see here. Can we go through these doors? Nope. Nope. Same thing. So in here would be the reading and writing room, but can't get through. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yep, here we are in the first class lounge. Now this is... Nice. Ooh, I love that. I absolutely love that, guys. That is awesome. The way the beams of the sun just shine through the glass. It's just for realism. I love that. It just makes you so cozy and just want to sit here and relax and read. Here we got the big bookshelf. Got 
guys, if if I was on if I was on the Olympic class liners, man, like this the this my favorite spots on the ships would be the a la carte restaurant, the first class dining room, the first class lounge, the first class smoking room, and the grand staircase. Those are literally the most oh okay and the the cafe Parisian. Oh whoa 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 That was bad. Whoa okay this game does not like me Okay what is going on? Uh, oh, okay, this is where the other elevator would be. Okay. Man, that's pretty cool. So that's where the other elevator would be. Just after the uh, first class lounge. Yeah, it makes sense. If I'm on a deck, might as well look at all of it. Now, I I don't know I'm Britannic, but there should be another door right there. I don't know if that was the same for Britannic though. Ah, oh, it's still incredibly beautiful. A cigar showcase. Ha! I love it. And I know my friends would love that too. That's like awesome. A cigar showcase. The place to buy all your cigars. Now I know on Britannic it was definitely configured differently, but I'm not sure if, because I could have, I don't know if Britannic was supposed to have the the uh, windows with the lino lights uh, behind them on against the bulkhead walls. I'm not sure. What does this say? Uh, okay. Can I get in? Okay, here we go. The smoking lounge on Britannic was L-shaped due to the inclusion of what plans call an accumulator room, which took up the forward starboard side of the room's original configuration. It is not exactly known what this accumulator room was for. It can be assumed that it served as a type of storage room, but it's unclear what exactly would have been stored in it. Okay. The smoking lounge intended for the RMS Britannic was inspired by an apartment in Hampton Court. This apartment had similar paneling as well as red furniture. The red furniture in the Hampton Court apartment is why I decided to give the seating tables a red color scheme for this room. Okay, I can see that. Uh, let's see, can I get can I get a closer look at uh, references used to 
recre recreate this room where mainly a piece of yeah, every time I try to get closer it just I go right on top of it concept art this Depicting the room on Britannic as well as the Hampton Court apartment. Oh man, guys, I can barely read that. Okay. Hey, it's still pretty cool nonetheless. All right. Here we are on B deck. Oh, coat hangers. Now this was well, on, this was more enlarged on uh Titanic and Olympic so this one is not as enlarged and whoa hoo, 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 hoo. wait what is this room uh no idea what this room was is because this is uh Wow. This was originally intended to be the Parisian Cafe on Titanic and I think later on Olympic. So I have no I, I, I don't remember. Somebody somebody in the comments let me b know below. Now I know that the a la carte restaurant was greatly enlarged because the Parisian cafe extended all the way to this aft wall here originally so where this wall and here was originally the Parisian cafe on Titanic and later Olympic but here on Britannic, the whole whole entire width of the ship is the a la carte restaurant. That's definitely interesting. And there's no aft door here. Which is really, really interesting. Ah. And as you can see, it goes out onto the B deck promenade. Which I might as well, since ew, yeah. Since I'm already here, Britannic, her second class uh, stairwell was definitely configured a little differently. Okay, so this is B deck. Can't go through those doors. Can't go through those doors. Okay. Is there any connection stuff to... So this is C deck. No, can't go through any of these doors. 
I don't know how much of the second class interior was done here. D deck. E deck. Wet floors. I like that. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. I take it this is a lot of this is just guesswork. Since uh, Armas Britannic never saw, well, RMS status. Which... Okay, that'd be off to the third class stairwell. Same thing with that for the third class dining room. Okay, I didn't, I don't know, did, I don't know if there, that's really supposed to be there. Okay, so, okay, so Scotland Road is fairly short, not full here in this game, which is okay, you know. I'm just trying to eliminate spaces here that I've gone through. I'm trying to go deck by deck and not make everything so super confusing. Chief Second Class Steward. Wet floor. Okay. the other side well I don't know I should also venture into here which I didn't do yet this is also the other second class stairwell I don't I, I I just don't know where it leads off to Okay Hey, it's another gymnasium but for second class. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. They did put a gymnasium for second class on the Britannic. Little little added luxury for life on board a ship. Okay, that's a watertight bulkhead and watertight door. Okay. So this goes, okay. How about this way? Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay. I'm just trying to check out each space. this <clears throat> this is definitely second class it wouldn't be third class hmm 
Okay, so I can't get any further down. Inquiry office, nice. <laughs> Which way do I go? Cool. That's right, I didn't go that way. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think there's any way down there over there anyway, so let's go back up to B deck. And then we'll continue with a tour. So that was second class, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm not certain if... Okay, yeah, this area is closed off. Oh, the barber shop's supposed to be right there. Where's the barber shop? Okay, so. Alright, well. We'll head forward here. We've, so we pretty much checked out the entire aft section of the ship and now we're going to finish exploring the forward uh, part of the ship so I guess you can't go forward and see those cabins which is okay oh Here we are on B deck. Nice. Telephone box, telephone box, passengers, mail room. Okay. Would you like to send a telegram? <laughs> oh yeah see originally on uh, it's funny on Britannic or Olympic the whole thing is open the whole B deck it's, it's entirely open from he from there all the way to the end of the superstructure on uh, and later on in her life I believe no I don't know if they ever filled up the those spaces on Olympic but then on Titanic all this would have been enclosed and would have been extra space for well it still would have been a promenade deck like but for the millionaires. So it was like a private promenade. And like, I think it was like around 50 feet or something like that. But mostly it was just filled up with uh, staterooms. 
Nice. A little look down the first class corridor. Ooh. Oh, that is nice. I don't know, but I kind of get a like a castle Transylvania feel in here though. Like like red velvet, you know, sheets and cloth and in in the brown wood. I like the windows. They're nice and elegant. Sinks. Yep, a first class stateroom. Do we get to see another? Oh yeah. So in a way, you kind of got like, well, no, wouldn't call this a private promenade. I'd call this more of an enclosed patio. <laughs> it's beautiful though. On the other side of those, this door and the door in there would have been uh, another bedroom. So now we will head on down to sea deck. Guess you can't go through those. And I see an adventure out of time thing. Once again, the first class elevators. You. Stop looking at me like that. Don't shoot me if I touch the cargo manifest. Why aren't the funnels yellow? Oh. Britannic originally had funnels like Titanic. She was repainted for hospital use in World War I. Was Britannic originally going to be called Gigantic? No, it's a popular myth. But it, it was always supposed to be Britannic. How many people died when Britannic sank? 30. There were 30 casualties from Britannic sinking. What's the room upstairs by the elevators? That's the passenger's mail room. So yeah, nice little tidbits for you. Um... As far was as far as uh, was Britannic going to originally be called Gigantic? Um, that's debatable. I think it's possible that the company was going to because they did put out like posters or pamphlets with the words Gigantic on it. I don't know, it's debatable. Now other people say no, they were never in, intending on to call it that. So here we got the candelabra and we're on D deck. I do not like this. That is ugly. That flooring. This room is not bright anymore. Not like how it used to be. 
Yeah, on Titanic and Olympic, it's like bright and airy and not dark. It's like it's like too dark. I don't like that. If this is truly the colors that they actually ch would have chosen for the RMS configuration, shame on them. Okay, uh, what, what's this? What did the, uh, oh, you know what? Yeah, I guess it makes sense. You shrink down the uh, first class entrance vestibule. And you make the uh, reception room larger. Yeah, I do believe I remember hearing that they uh, enlarged the first class reception room. Because it was uh, actually more popular than uh, than they thought it would be. So just the D-Deck reception room. All right. Down to E-Deck. And obviously there's Scotland Road, which we've gone down and I don't think we can go into any boiler rooms. Ooh. Pretty. Alright. So. It's funny because on Titanic. This would have been Molly Brown's stateroom. So eerie. That some spots are like still the same as Titanic's. Okay. So, F deck. Notice the frame device to the left is a six point bell indicator which let attendants know where to go if their bell had been rung. I don't remember if that was on, on the real Titanic or Olympic class liners. Probably. Ha ha, the Turkish bath. And what do you know? It's actually different configuration than than Olympic or Titanic's. Well, it's slightly different. I don't see the uh, fake uh, porthole windows. They must have gotten rid of those. So it's only slightly different, not vastly different. Still cool. Huh, I like that. Those little white star line mats. So I think uh, everybody, we're getting down to the end of our tour here. Because I don't think there's any more spaces for me to go through. And last but not least, we have the first class pool. It was lovely. I did. Lo I will say I do love uh, Britannic's pool over uh, Titanic and Olympic's pool. It is so much more beautiful. So much more beautiful. <laughs> I'm going swimming. 
Well, all right, everybody. I guess that's the end of the tour. Um, I had a lot of fun playing through this, walking through it, and seeing these cool and awesome things. Oh, I just, I, I just still can't get over that view. Very pretty. So once again, everybody, please like, subscribe to my channel, guys. I could use all the love I can get. Uh, hit that bell notification so that you guys are kept up to date with all my videos. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching, and good night.